school. It's the place where most students begin finding their way through life. It's the source of a wide range of memories for most adults. And, when we're fortunate, school is a vibrant member of the community it serves. Engaging professors, a leisurely stroll around the walking trail, the excitement of the first day of class, graduation. When the school in question is the Blunt County campus of Pellissippi State Community College, there's an emphasis on community, on vibrancy, on people. People. Technology. People. Academic programs. People. Community involvement. When you think of Pellissippi State, you think of Greater Knoxville's own Technical Community College. You also think of the people who make Pellissippi State a special part of the community. People made the Pellissippi State vision a reality. Back in 1974, 45 students and 8 faculty and staff members came together to form State Technical Institute at Knoxville. On July 1, 1988, Pellissippi State Technical Community College was established. Today, more than 3,500 students and 200 faculty and staff members are a part of Tennessee's fastest growing community college. Pellissippi State is something special, and we're proudly building a great tradition of excellence in education, technology, and service for the people of East Tennessee. The people of Pellissippi State have always been the focus. Behind every new student, behind each individual who graduates is a story. Each story, unique, but with one school, one community in common. Jessica Tipton is a May 2010 graduate of Pellissippi State Community College. Her story begins in Blount County. Jessica and the rest of the spring 2010 graduates were the last to attend classes at the Blount County Center, popularly referred to as Bungalow by many in the community. The former elementary school served as the first truly centralized location for Pellissippi State's growing student body. The first classes offered in 1985 were held in area high schools. They could only meet in the evenings when the high school students were not utilizing the classrooms. The average enrollment in those days, approximately 100 students per term. Within two years, in response to the needs expressed by the community, Pellissippi State agreed with Blount County Schools on a lease agreement in which the community college would utilize the former Union Elementary School for both day and evening classes. Bo Henry, former Tennessee Board of Regents board member, shares memories of Pellissippi State's early days. Uh, formerly it was at Union School, uh, some few miles from here. And I was on the Board of Regents when this school was accepted. I recall having predicted that someday this campus would be larger by number of students than Maryville College. And uh, sure enough, it's come to fruition. Since the building had been vacant for several years, Union required renovations. No state funds were available, so Pellissippi State turned to the community with the belief that Blunt Countyans would be the first to come forward with support if asked for help. In 1988, the Pellissippi State Foundation implemented the Blunt County First fundraising campaign. Within one year, enrollment at Union nearly doubled. Blunt Countyans dedicated to expanding education proved to be the catalyst for yet another move. The community offered in 1991 to donate the former Bungalow Elementary School to serve as a permanent home for Pellissippi State. J.L. Goins, former president of Pellissippi State, shares a story about the rapid growth of Pellissippi State in Blount County and how the Bungalow site happened to become a part of history. Uh, we had started out in a, another elementary school in Blount County called Union, and uh, we outgrew it in one year. And uh, I learned that this facility was going to be declared surplus, and we started talking to the county commission and the Blunt County School Board. And after a lot of negotiations and time, we got the building for a dollar. And uh, I went to the Register of Deeds office in, in the courthouse and gave them a dollar, got the deed, and took it to the Tennessee Board of Regents and told them we had a new facility and some land. And uh, from there we started growing and uh, we immediately went to over a thousand students and uh, for several years we were up to as high as 1,500 students uh, when we opened up. And of course, uh, this has opened up 
quality education in Blount County and an affordable education in Blount County with uh, people who are working and don't have access to it transportation and so forth. So it's been a real asset to the students of Blount County trying to further education after high school. Again, state funding was unavailable for needed renovations. And again, Blount County residents responded with more than $250,000. The governments of Blount County, Maryville City, and Alcoa City also assisted. By 1992, all of Pellissippi State's Blount County programs were centralized at the bungalow location. The first classes to meet in Bungalow did so in 1992. One of the first classes to meet that autumn day was led by instructor Betsy Boyd, who has been with Pellissippi State in Blunt County since the college's beginnings there and still serves as a counselor at the Blunt County campus. When you are a small campus like that and you have um, just a few people in such close quarters, uh, we've got to be very close with each other and actually um, that has been our culture and our tradition from the very beginning of Pellissippi State in Blount County, even at the Union School. In 1991, that was the year that we had classes at both the Union School and the Bungalow Campus, um, I was teaching a developmental writing class that met at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. I think it was the only class that was there at that time that morning. And I was about to start class when our dean at the time, Annabelle Agee, uh, stepped in the door and said, uh, the Daily Times is here and they'd like to take a picture of your class. Would you mind if you all come out front and we'll take your picture? So, uh, you know, so much for the lesson plan that day, but that was all right. It was very exciting and we all did go out and stand in the front entryway of the campus and had our picture taken. Well, you know, in 22 years, there are a lot of changes and a lot of things that, that happen. But the things that stand out in my mind for the most part are those human, personal stories of how people's lives have been changed, their association with Pellissippi State, whether they were students or, or worked on our staff here. And I remember my very first semester um, teaching developmental writing at Pellissippi State, there was a gentleman in my class who, um, at the age of 40, decided he was tired uh, of the job that he had and quit his job to come to school did not know what he was going to do next. He just knew that what he was doing was not what he wanted to continue to do. Um, he was a very good writer in my class and um, he sort of got the idea he might like to teach. And so, of course, as an English instructor, I tried to convince him to be a writing teacher. But he also liked math a lot and, in fact, became a math, a math peer tutor. We had lots of peer tutors in those days and um, did that for a while and uh, he graduated from Pellissippi State, went on to UT, he did major in math. He got his master's degree in mathematics and for the last 10 years or so has been a full-time instructor in math at William Blunt High School and he's now teaching part-time at Pellissippi State in the math department. And so here's somebody who came full circle. And I just, I love that story. It wasn't long before Pellissippi State was in search of another, even more permanent location. Enter Dorothy and Ralph Petrie. Though several potential sites were considered, it was the land belonging to the Petries that would eventually become home to the new Pellissippi State Blunt County campus. Dorothy and Ralph Petrie share their story. And if he hadn't, JL hadn't approached me, I wouldn't have known anything about them wanting it even, you know, so. He had played a big part of us things over here for a long, long time. And I think my dad would really approve of what we decided to use it for, the land. He, he was born up near North Carolina in a little community that didn't even have a high school. So he never got to go, you know, when he was growing up, he didn't get a good education. After 24 years of being a vital member of the Blunt County community, Albeit in a wide variety of places, Pellissippi State said a final goodbye to the bungalow site in preparation for the fall 2010 move to its new campus. Goodbye Bungalow, a special gathering of those who walked the halls of the former elementary school during its original incarnation, also included those who attended classes there after its conversion to Pellissippi State's Blunt County Center. We're gonna miss it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a memory, a part of my life, really. I played basketball here. And uh, it was a great school to go to. I mean, it was a lot, of, a lot of fond memories. Grew up with a lot of people here in Bungalow. So I'm still friends with them to this day. A lot more challenging to, you know, you wanted to get up and try to get away with something, forget it. But the staff here was, was just incredible. All the way back from Mr. Bridges, all the way to Miss Cross, to all of my first grade teachers. It was just like a 
you know, I could see later in life it was a molding situation, so it was good. I started here in kindergarten, which would have been 1973 or 74. And it was a great school. We actually lived less than a mile from here, so we walked to school and walked home. And I went through here for, I guess, for nine years before I went on to high school. It was a great school. It was all close. Everybody knew everybody. It was a, a little community school. While the location may be changing, the constants that remain and that will continue to grow are the sense of vibrancy, community, and people. For Steve West, Pellissippi State is synonymous with strengthening business opportunities for people in the community. You know, Blount County has always been uh, aggressive in attracting new business and everything, and the new Pellissippi State campus on 321 is going to be an entry into Blount County, and I think it'll be a, a great recruiting tool for new industry. Fred Forrester, past president and CEO of Blunt Partnership, agrees. I think the impact is going to be significant. Uh, our new campus will provide multiple new opportunities for training, uh, new training and cross-training for employees and uh, citizens, our citizens of all types, uh, to get involved with learning new skills and abilities and things that will improve their ability to, to uh, be more effective in what they're doing. The new two-story building, located on 39 and a half acres, provides a sweeping view of mountains and pasture lands while allowing lots of natural light into the structure. The exterior plan includes space for an outdoor amphitheater, a walking trail around the campus, and red maple trees lining the driveway. And, as is so often the case in Blount County, there are already stories that overlap, people whose lives touch one another in unexpected ways thanks to the one common element of school. One example involves three Blunt Countyans from three different generations. Esther Carlson Lowe, a registered nurse who married and settled in Maryville in 1940. Her son-in-law, local attorney David Black, who along with his wife, Marty, established a nursing scholarship in memory of his mother-in-law. And Christian Gomez, a young Maryville resident and nursing student who will be among the first to attend classes at the new Blunt County campus. Gomez is the recent recipient of the Esther Carlson Lowe Nursing Scholarship. David Black understands firsthand the relationship between family and education. Obviously, uh, Pellissippi will help create an educated workforce that will provide job opportunities here locally. I'm impressed with the design, location, uh, quality of the of the new campus and looking forward to the students enjoying their, their really first-class facility. Though Christian Gomez never met David Black's mother-in-law, the young father will be in the first class of nursing students in fall 2010, thanks in part to the legacy of Mrs. Lowe. Well, I actually, I was very surprised because one day I checked my mailbox and I saw this envelope from Pellissippi. I was like, I wonder what it is. And I opened it and I was like, wow, I was very excited. I'm very excited. I, I want to see what, how it looks like. It looks like a great location, a great building. So I want to see the inside and everything. Setting aside the multitude of details that made the new campus come together, it's about community. The community of Blunt County and every student who has attended classes, each person who has watched a play at the old Bungalow Elementary School, everyone who has supported Pellissippi State's presence in Blunt County. The stories that are still being played out today, stories like those of Christian Gomez and Jessica Tipton. Hi, my name is Jessica Tipton and I just graduated from Pellissippi State in May 2010. I live in Blount County and the most convenient place for me to go to school was the Pellissippi Blount County campus and the teachers were great and they would always go out of their way to help you. I think that future Blount County students will really enjoy this new campus because it's close, convenient and offers community style classes. Well I think I'm looking forward to Pellissippi State expanding over the coming years, the number of things that they're making available to our community, not only learning opportunities, but the arts and culture aspect of the college. It looks very beautiful. I just drove by it today. I mean, uh, I'm glad they're doing that here in, in you know, Maryville. Uh, it's really a big help. Excited to see Pellissippi State's new campus open. 
I'm excited about the opportunities for our students and excited for the opportunities for our workforce development. It will take people places they never thought they'd be able to go and it, it, it's exciting to see, see that. I'm proud to cheer. I, certainly uh, we as a community appreciate all the efforts the administration went to to, to to get a fine campus located here. It's a transition period but it'll be an exciting point due to its location for Blount County in the future. We'll be the same people we've always been and we'll provide the services that we've always provided. However, with the new campus and room to grow, um, I think we're just gonna continue to excel and prosper and show the community how great we really are.